Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following today. Flint residents can start taking action on the mess left from the deadly home explosion. Condemned properties being turned back over to the hands of the owners who can now file insurance claims and schedule demolitions. State officials determined a natural gas leak contributed to the explosion, but the cause is officially undetermined. Genesee Intermediate School District hosting a groundbreaking today for a fire training center. It will offer advanced study opportunities for dozens of high school students. The ceremony will begin at 11 on the campus of the Genesee Career Institute in Flint. And this weekend, the annual Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. On Saturday, just go to Winona Park in Bay City. It's at 9 a.m. to register, though you can pre-register online. We have a link to do so on our website. But the walk starts at 10 a.m. If you can't attend, no worries. There will be another one on Saturday, October 8th. But this is in Midland. All funds raised go to the Alzheimer's Association. All right, here's Matthew is checking out your forecast for today. Thank you, Blake. We do have some rainfall moving through for today. Expect scattered showers to continue through the morning and even into the afternoon as well. That's all just coming out of the northwest due to the low pressure system that's over towards our east. Your first one five hourly hour does show that rainfall moving through this morning and this afternoon. So the afternoon bus stops and also your evening drive should still have some damp conditions. But early on this overnight, we could have a brief lull in that rain activity before it picks back up later on in the overnight. Then for your Tuesday, more scattered showers. However, on Tuesday, I think the coverage of that rainfall will be less than what we're seeing on this Monday. That's just due to our wind starting to turn a little more northerly. Rain predictor has around a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rainfall through Tuesday evening, but those highest totals will be in Huron County and in our northwestern counties as well. And we're starting off the work week in the 50s, middle to upper 50s on this Monday, expecting more middle 50s right around 54 Tuesday, 55 on Wednesday, but we're back to 60 and above that. Once we head into Thursday and the upcoming weekend, it'll also be a nice dry stretch Thursday through Sunday for our farmers. And it is going to be a more of a damp start to the work week for any field work that we might have to do. And then Wednesday night too, one thing to keep in mind, a low temperatures around 37 on Wednesday night, but we could have some 20s in our northern county. So Wednesday night, another night for some frost and freeze concerns. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.